Apple recently released some numbers that the, the size of the app economy is over 600,000 jobs. And to put that in perspective, it didn't exist six years ago. So we've gone from zero, you know, the, Apple, the app store is really only about six years old. So we've gone from zero to a million and a quarter apps, 600,000 jobs. Uh, another number that's kind of interesting is that, the, that uh, when, when you sell an app through the app store, uh, Apple gets a third and you get two thirds. Okay. The payout that Apple has made since the app store started was $25 billion. Okay. So, and 10 billion of that is in the last year. Do we have your attention? Ron Hildreth is an instructor at Midlands Technical College. In this class, he is teaching in his typical college setting, but all of the students are from Richland School District 2. This is the first class to establish the framework of what will become the Richland 2 Institute of Innovation, or R2-I2. Hildreth is teaching students a different type of Apple computer language. iOS is Apple's operating system for apps that run on iPhones, iPads, and soon to be the iWatch. You know, iOS would be analogous to Windows 7 or Win, you know, Windows 8. The actual language we're using is something called Swift. And it's a new language that actually was just introduced by Apple in October. So it's a, it's a brand new programming language that we'll be using. And it's really replacing a language called Objective-C, which has been around for about 30 years. So what I tell them is that if they uh, are rigorous and learn Swift, then there'll be nobody in the world outside of Apple that has more experience with Swift than they do. This is a lifetime opportunity for these students. As I mentioned already, first they get to have exposure to a college level course. They also get to be exposed to an industry expert in that field and also get to be exposed to a hugely growing field of IT. Um, and so what our hope is, is that they will fall in love with the world of IT and would want to continue their studies and eventually help fill the pipeline in a field where we know there are more jobs than there are qualified people to take them. Amy Scully is the Program Director for Computer and Information Technology at Midlands Tech. I think that we can all agree that technology is becoming an integral part more and more every day of our lives. So we know, and I don't have the statistics off the top of my head, but we hear from the employers that we work with here at the college, we hear from industry experts around the nation that there is going to be a shortage, if not already is a shortage, of qualified IT workers. Remember Hildreth mentioned Apple's estimate of 600,000 jobs created, and the opportunities have the potential to grow. So they're currently uh, about a million and a quarter apps in the App Store right now. And so that's over a period of six years. And so by writing these apps, they can either work for themselves, they could have their own business, uh, consultancy, or they could work for a company. So maybe you'd go to work for a bank and you would develop an app for them that would allow people to say, uh, deposit their checks remotely using their iPhone or iPad. What I'm trying to do is to teach them some life skills so that they'll learn to think like a programmer, that they'll be uh, self-reliant, that they'll be able to be able to make the uh, transition from an idea uh, to an app that runs on, on a mobile device. I tell them that's the ultimate resume. That if somebody says, well, what did you do? I, you know, and some people just pull out the resume and read it to them. And I say, the ultimate resume for you is that if somebody asks what you've done, then you take it out of your pocket, say, here, here's my, here's my app that I created at Richland School District 2 in Midlands Tech. I just really want to say how fortunate we feel that um, Richland School District 2 chose us um, to partner with us as their first class as part of their um, innovation school. Um, and we're looking forward to hopefully finding other opportunities to partner as well.